So here at Grand, we've got a new way of packaging our conversion kits in a system that we're calling Ready to Roll. So our Ready to Roll conversion kits all feature a down to battery pack with a built-in base runner motor controller. Now the combination of a down to battery and an integrated base runner controller enables us to do a conversion system that has minimal external wiring and the fastest possible installation. There isn't a separate motor controller to mount on the frame of your bicycle and there's no wiring between the battery and the controller to deal with. Instead, all you have is a single cable that connects to the motor and another cable that goes up to the display on the handlebar. That display on the handlebar, a new CAWP we're calling it, is our classic version 3 cycle analyst that allows you to use any options for basic pedal sensors, torque sensors, throttle inputs, brake cutoffs, all of which plug in directly to the display and hook up to the motor controller with a single plug. Now our traditional cycle analyst connector plug the CADP was a six pin JST connector. In our ready to roll kits, we're moving over to a waterproof eight pin plug. Now this is the same eight pin connector that's been in use for a number of the main controller plugs in Bafang and other systems. And it's an intrinsically waterproof connector standard, making it more robust for use outside in the elements. It's also an eight pin contact rather than six pins. And those two extra pins allow us to bring more features to the cycle analyst handlebar. One of those extra wires brings the on-off power switch to the handlebar, and the second one allows us to pass the motor temperature signal up to the cycle analyst without an additional cable run. So in these systems, if your motor has a built-in temperature sensor, you'll see that temperature display on the cycle analyst, analyst with no extra cable runs required. We have these ready-to-roll systems available with a number of hub motor options, which you see spread out in front of me here from very small motors like the Bafang G311 and G310 little geared hubs to fat bike motors to our powerful GMAC motor, a geared hub with regenerative braking, the Grin all axle front motor that's compatible with through axle suspension forks and single side installations, the Crystallite UFO motors available both front and rear and the rear also in a through axle standard and the nine continent RH212 motor, which is our most powerful direct drive hub motor that uses a modern cassette free hub system and has perfect spacing for the disc brake and disc rotor. So all of these various hub motors are now available in a ready to roll system. The powerful motors like the GMAC, the direct drive hubs are using the L1019 waterproof plug standard that's capable of up to 80 amps of phase current the lower power motors use the popular 9-pin waterproof high-go plug, and those come with the Base Runner Z9, which has the matching connector here, and this works with up to 55 amps of peak phase current. On all these conversion systems, the cable length will generally reach a rear hub motor with no extension required. By the time you mount this on your battery pack, the cable run itself is nicely positioned to mate with the plug on a rear motor. If you have a front motor, then the cable needs to run up along the frame and connect to a motor on your front fork. And for that, we have 60 centimeter extension cables for both the L10 and the Z9 connector standards. If you have an unusual system like a tandem bike or a cargo bike, you may need to use an extension cable even with the rear motor or use a longer extension on the front, which we have available in 100 centimeter length as well. So that's the ready to roll system described for you in a nutshell. As time goes on, we're going to continue to add new motor series in this ready to roll kit bundle package. And we look forward to making kits easier to install and cleaner looking on bicycles uh, than we have in the past. The only downside of the ready to roll systems versus our classic conversion kits is that they do require you have a down to battery with the base runner motor controller. So if you're using a third party standalone battery pack, then you want to have one of our classic kits with an external controller like the phase runner or the Grinfinian. 